Oh. Here we are next morning, trying out this wax melter you muck and machine. We've had her on all night, so we'll see what happens. Shall we have a little look inside? See what's going on? Oh, the suit's nearly done. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. We scooped a little bit of poop off the top last night. Apparently you're not meant to disturb it, so we might not disturb what's in there at the minute. But if you, when you separate out the wax in a, like, obviously this is a double boiler, but even in a normal saucepan or whatever, some of the light stuff floats to the top of the wax and the heavy sediment goes to the bottom of the wax. And so when you turn it off, you'll get a disc and you'll get the wax with the shit on the top that you've scraped off and you'll get stuff on the bottom of it, which you can cut off when it cools. The theory here is that we're gonna lower the wax below this tap a little bit. So we're just gonna pour out pure wax into this bowl, in, which will be the middle part that normally you have to try and cut out. So that's the theory, I'm assuming that's the theory. I don't know, I haven't actually used this before. We're experiencing this for first. You know, if you were a professional bloody organizer of a station, you would do this crap off camera. But no, where would be the fun in that for you guys are all on this adventure with us. So we, we're, we're not like that. We're gonna, we're gonna let you see the, the faults as well as the victories. Anyway, here we go, we'll turn this tap on, eh? Right, so we'll let a bit of the muck out the bottom. See what happens. I don't know. Sorry, I've got my big head in the way. I don't know what I'm actually looking at. <laughs> I can't see through the tin, can I? What am I, Superman with Bex Ray vision? What am I, kidding? Anyway, I reckon we'll give that a go. If a bloke had been organised, he would have had the tub back there a bit so we could have the bowl on the decks, like, like my jug there, but I'm a bit afraid to move the jolly thing now. So I reckon we're gonna turn this tap on and just see what comes out, and then we might let a bit more water out. If we were doing cappings, apparently that would be the mead wash, so you could make your mead, mead beer with that. And that still looks a bit like water, doesn't it? Here we're getting close now. See, that's the bottom bit. See how that's coming out? See, that's basically the bottom of the wax. See how that's... So we're nearly there. Because it will se separate it out, which is the idea of it sitting here all night. So we'll let a little bit more water out. I can't find one of my wife's bloody um, scrapers. So I'm gonna to have to use my fancy steam. This shit stuck with me bowl pretty good. Crikey. <laughs> Come on. What the hell? Oh. Damn it. That was a bloody good plan going to shit, wasn't it? And drum. <laughs> oh, how are we going to get that out of there, son? This is why professionals do this off camera, not while everybody's watching you. And then you wouldn't see all this bad stuff happen. Bloody hell. It's like shit to a blanket, this stuff. It's like, don't want to come off. Oh, I think we're going to have to go and get some hot water. Oh, actually, we could use that hot water. You reckon that'd melt? That's recycling. That's pure genius, isn't it? Where do you get that crap off of there somehow? I was reading this post about a guy who was writing about the um. Oh, was that the Coyote and Roadrunner? I don't know if you youngsters have ever seen that. There was a stupid show when we were growing up about a coyote trying to catch a bird. I don't know what sort of bird the roadrunner was. I guess he was an ostrich or some shit because he could run pretty quick. And somebody wrote in and said, well, they were sort of commenting and talking about the cartoon's principle, which went on for ages. Why didn't, if the coyote had enough money to buy all the traps and explosive and shit to catch the bloody roadrunner, why didn't he just go out and buy a feed? Because it wouldn't have been anywhere near as much fun. That's why he was chasing him around, having a good time. It's a bit like us. We probably could just buy this wax, but where would be the fun in that?
my lovely wife. <laughs> she gets a bit of a mention in this show, as you've noticed. She was having a bit of a whinge this morning because we were trying to make scrambled eggs. And she says, where the bloody hell are all my mixing bowls? And I went, I have no idea, darling. I don't know where your mixing bowls are. But she's going to find out because we're mixing bowls around here full of wax. And so, I don't know, I reckon that could be interesting. So apparently, apparently today I'm meant to be buying mixing bowls. So just remind me that I'm going to get a mixing bowl. Anyway, and I've got some old lunch box. So I thought, well, that'll work. I'll use the last little bit in there. We'll see how much we get. Oh, we're getting to the top of it already. That's all right. That'll come out anyway. We've got one big, really clean stuff, and then we'll have these little bowls that have got a bit of muck. Because we didn't get all the crap off the top. But anyway, that'll be all right. When you're doing this in the saucepan, you've got to do it about five or six times, so this is pretty cool. I wonder if we actually, where's me trusty paintbrush and me? What do I do with that stupid box that has the crap in? Here we go. Ow, oh, dear. We'll see if we can scoop the, scoop the poop <laughs> off the top. Of that, then it could be a patented, patented poop scooper for this project. We're up to the tap, so we're nearly drained off. We are. Groovy doovy doovy. Right, put that back over there. Get another lunch pail. Got your lunch pail here. So it's getting down to the tap. So we're going to get a little few bumpy bits on the top of this, but this is going to be a bowl of fairly pure clean wax, which is going to be cool. We'll put that on the table with a for sale sign on it and see whether the wife wants to buy it off me. She'll probably tell me to get fucked. But still, I'm a lucky man actually. She's a good woman. She's put up with my crap for 30 years, which is a bloody good effort. I think she'd be out on parole if she'd murdered me. <laughs> That's a stupid joke. You know, you'd get that stupid joke where they say, hey, you get less for murder. No, it's something like that anyway. I don't know. I'm going off the track here a bit. <laughs> Oh, that looks good. I wonder if we want to get rid of the rest of that poop. Here's me. Get rid of the rest of it as well, I reckon, and then we'll take the top of it off. And then I think you could actually do the next melt. You'll have a bit of this left in here and you go again. This is kind of cool though. This saves a lot of messing around. I was going to drill a hole in my own drum, but I thought that stuff it. We'll just buy this and be done with it. Cool. Anyway, right, now, yeah, we've run out of pots. We've got more wax than we know what to do with. I'll go and get another pot of some sort. As I was saying earlier, the wife was wondering where all the mixing bowls is. I'm just having a bit of a look around here. There's yet another one. There's about three or four others I've got over here that I've been using. So I think I've been a very naughty husband. Dear idea, but that wouldn't be anything out of the ordinary, would it? So anyway, I'm gonna run it through the spaghetti strainer. Which is all nice and clean until I get hold of it. So, God. Oh, Ooh, it's starting to get firmed up already. Maybe this is a bad idea. It doesn't take long to oh, cool off, does it? Because it's not on a super hot temperature. No, that's the idea of it. Because apparently if you have it all too hot, the wax will crack. So that's kind of the whole premise of this X situation is if you do it nice and gentle like this, your wax would come out nice and clean and also shouldn't um, crack. So it should solidify better, in theory. But I don't know. We're finding this crap out together, so I really don't know myself, to be quite honest. So I reckon the bloody saves a lot of rooting around. 